All right, everyone, this is Blur. A racing game from the Xbox 360 PS3 generation that was really something different and ahead of its time. They had not seen anything like it really since. I would consider this most similar to like Mario Kart for adults. So you're gonna pick up these powers. I just got like a little missile. I just blew away that dude. And so there's like all these things that you can pick up, power-ups that'll make the racing a little bit a little bit more action. I just got a uh, an ability to heal myself here. I actually don't know how you switch. Oh, here you go. It's X. So I just dropped a mine and some dude blew up behind me. What does this one do? I think that's an EMP. Yeah. He has a shock hit. This one I'm assuming is a shield. So there's all these different kinds of powers. And many events that happen while you're racing. Oops. And I just don't think there was anything really like this. And this is one of my most uh, fun arcade racers from the 360 generation. Okay, so that one's the shockwave. I gotta pay a little bit more attention to that one. I'll heal myself. You got a health bar right under your rearview mirror here. And it's kind of a shame that this game never got a sequel. This was made by um, Activision, actually. Here's a missile. Yeah, we'll see ya. And I think we've seen a little bit of a disappearance from arcade racers and consoles. This was made by the guys that um, made Project Gotham Racing back in the day on the early 360, late OG Xbox uh, time. Bizarre Creations. I actually got that guy. That's pretty great. There's no one around me here. But I can't really think of any, like, killer arcade racers from the Xbox One or Series X or PS5, PS4 generation yet. We've seen the disappearance of Burnout. Besides Burnout Paradise Remastered. Um, uh-oh. Oh, I knew that was coming. You gotta avoid these shock waves. So I just wish this genre would kind of return. I wonder what this one does. Okay, so it shoots like little rounds. You know what I could do? Activate this, hit the brakes. Let him pass me, then blow him away. But he's actually going a little bit too slow. I'm unsure if there's rubber banding in this or not. There we go, just block that dude's attack. Uh-oh. I don't want to lose this right here at the end. But if this also, what's unfortunate is this game is not available on backwards compatibility. So if you have an Xbox One or Series X, you unfortunately cannot play this. You're going to have to uh, take out your 360 from the closet or whatever. It's actually what I had to do to make this video, believe it or not. So uh, I think it's a little bit more of a rare game to find these days. It's a little bit pricey on eBay. But I do think the price is worth admission for this title. And it hold, I think it holds up quite well in 2022. And probably even more into, uh, into the future. There we go. There's the finish line. So that's it. That's Blur. In 2022, there's all different kinds of game modes besides just regular racing. But again, I do think all the power-ups add a whole nother layer to this game. And I hopefully you do uh, check this out, pick it up. Uh, I think it was quite ahead of its time. And there was really nothing like it before or since. Mario Kart for, I guess, grown-ups. <laughs> but let's be honest, all grown-ups play Mario Kart anyway. And before this video closes, I wanted to make some comments or thoughts on the history of Bizarre Creations. So Blur was released in May of 2010. The sales were low, according to Wikipedia, 
Wikipedia says only about 500,000 copies were sold. Bizarre Creations, the studio who made Blur, they were founded originally in 1988, uh, and they were purchased by Activision in 2007. Now, Microsoft had a minority stake in the company from 2001 to 2007, but the studio was shut down by Activision following the release of 007 Bloodstone on the 360 and PS3 in 2011, the following year after Blur came out. Activision said it originally wanted to sell the studio but found no buyer. And you gotta kinda think of the landscape at the time. That was still during uh, parts of the recession in the American economy. So it doesn't surprise me that no buyer was present for the studio. I think if it were today, they would easily find a buyer given how so many studios, studios are being acquired these days. A Bizarre Creations is widely known for the Geometry Wars and Project Gotham Racing series. PGR was an early Xbox-only racing franchise with PGR 1 and 2 on the OG Xbox and PGR 3 and 4 on the 360. Uh, like I said, my, Microsoft had a minority stake in the studio up until 2007. What's ironic is Microsoft will once again own the Blur and PGR IP through the purchase of Activision Blizzard, which that's set to close sometime in 2023. So my theory about all of this is all Activision Blizzard games will hit Game Pass in some form, whether that's Game Pass PC or Game Pass on console. This should point to Blur potentially making a return on Xbox Game Pass, but the title is not backwards compatible on the newer Xbox consoles. So Microsoft would need to make Blur backwards compatible, then they could add it to the service. I'm unsure if they'll add newer titles to the back compat service from the Activision Blizzard deal. Microsoft did come out and say, I think it was earlier this year, it might have been late last year, that they are no longer looking into adding new titles to the back compat service or FPS, FPS boosting older titles. So uh, that might need to be an exception. Uh, Activision Blizzard has a ton of historic and really nostalgic dormant video game franchises. So I'm really excited to see the potential with this. Maybe we'll see uh, with Playground or Turn 10, the racing studios Microsoft now owns. Will Playground pick up Blur and make a sequel to Blur? I really think that that would be a great marriage between Playground, who likes to make the arcadey Forza Horizon series, as uh, with the arcade style and laid back fun gameplay of Blur. I think that would be a great matchup so we can only dream of the potential future of the blur series uh, but hopefully it'll make at least a return on game pass all right that's going to do it for this video thank you so much for watching are you planning on picking up blur or taking it out and putting it in your 360 and play it once again i'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below if this is your first time on the channel andy's arcade is all about nostalgic and great video game the franchises and series of the past so if that's something you're interested in be sure to subscribe for future videos that's gonna do it for me thank you so much for watching everybody and i'll see you james